spring in New England has taken a long time to come, but it's here. <laughs> Oh my God. Now it's time to get the Porsche out. So I'm still on my Paul Walker tires. They are cracked and not prepared to be driven hard on, but I've got our R's waiting for me back at my parents' house. But I think we can nurse it out of the garage today. Season, boys. I will say this, as great as these cameras and everything is, it does distort vision on this vehicle. I disagree. I don't think there's any problems with these cameras. Wow. Oh gee, Ricky, I don't know. <laughs> Gonna have to copyright out that part. <laughs> I would love to get sued by the Trailer Park Boys. All right. That thing will kill you. Yeah, I know, it's monstrous. We gotta get these brakes bedded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll work on that. Oh, it feels good to be back in the old girl! I know I say that about the M5, but I got two old girls. My old lesbian ladies. Living together and seen in the barn during the winter months. They'd then be they scissoring all winter long. Then all they come out to play with daddy. Let's turn the tunes all the way. Oh wait, there are no tunes. Let's turn on the AC all the way. My favorite option on this car, option, my favorite modification on this car is the Renline Radio Delete Plate. Somebody paid like 50 bucks for that. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Well, I definitely paid a lot of money for this car, so I, I eventually paid for it. Eddie, you've been with me two seasons now where we've picked this car up. What are your what are your thoughts? We're still here. We have survived. Uh, I love this car and I love getting it out the first day. I feel like it's a tradition now. It is. It feels good. Last time if I recall it was it was cold and dark. Yes. But we gotta do it in the in the sunlight because if you guys remember, the headlights don't work on this car right now because the blinker stock, which engages the high beams and low beams, actually broke. So I have blinkers, but <laughs> um, I can't like you, you can't put the, the the lights on. So you can flash them, but that's it. So I have a new blinker stock waiting for me um, back at the house. Got to install that. It means I got to take the steering wheel off, remove the clamshell, and then pop this in. And it's really just like a few wires you plug in. So luckily, it's not too much of a job. But we're gonna find out if that's true or not. This is by far the easiest car to rev match downshift. Like this is as a driver's car. This is the most intuitive thing I've ever driven. Really? Except for the oversteer understeer aspect of it. That's a big. Then you got to think about it. But from a gearbox perspective, this is the easiest car to drive. Was it hard to learn what the car was gonna do originally about the car? Yeah, I think I was cocky at first, but I was terrified of it, so I wasn't like doing anything too crazy. Um, once I put it into a rotary, there was like this aha, come to Jesus moment in a, in a roundabout. It was like a pretty big roundabout, and I just went around it like five or six times, and I learned like, okay, if I floor it, it understeers. If I lift at a reasonable speed, it oversteers. And that's when I was just like, oh, like, you can also figure that out in corners, but like you don't get that much time to kind of mess with it, especially at a, a speed where it's safe. Um, and this thing just gives you the ability, like in a, in a roundabout, you really just need to drive it in a circle for a while and figure out what it's gonna do. Otherwise you'll have no idea. Yeah. And and, and like if, if you're trying to figure out instinct mid corner, too late. Grip. Oh yeah. I can't wait to feel this on our AAA Rs. 
It's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Hopefully next week. So we're taking it out at 84,930. <laughs> 930. Hoping we see 85 this year. Yeah, we can drive it a bit this year, hopefully. that fit on these, but that's why I was forced to either buy Trofeo R's or what I did buy was the R888 R's from Toyo. It also has the turbo clutch and it grips a little harder because it can deal with more torque. Suspension setup is pretty wild and honestly, I don't know enough about it to tell you what it is. I just know that literally everything in it is solid. It's got monoballs and it's stiff as hell. You can probably hear that roll cage creaking and cracking behind me. Um, it's, uh, it's a trip, so we're gonna try to make that less noisy this season. But for now, I'm just gonna drive it and enjoy it. It's got a Steve Wong chip, so it actually is tuned, if you wanna say that. It's got an M and K muffler with a cat bypass, don't tell the state police. And uh, it, it sounds nasty, it sounds really grumbly. This is one of the few exhausts that gives it a really like aggressive, muscly, nasty, gargly kind of sound. I mean, honestly, it sounds like an old man smoker with phlegm in his throat, and that's just how I want my 911. Oh my god, that's the heinous thing to think about. <laughs> oh dear. 